Ben and Ted, we're hearing from two families who now share a very emotional connection after a serious motorcycle crash. It's all because a stranger offered care when someone needed it most. That crash happened in Palmer Lake about a week ago, and 11 News reporter Melissa Henry explains how a blanket provided comfort and an unexpected friendship. He landed about right where the guy's at, probably about uh, 200 yards behind him is where he landed face down. Susan Coleman was heading home from a family day at Palmer Lake when tragedy struck a few cars ahead of her, sending David Mitchum off his motorcycle. I don't want to be put out there as the one that saved his life. It was multiple. One of the other witnesses who stopped called out asking for a blanket. And she just happened to say, like, hey, he needs a blanket. He's in shock. And she was heading to her car, and I was like, I have one. It just made me feel so good that people weren't just passing by, that they took the time to make sure that he was okay. Teresia Mitchum is David's wife. While processing how this event could alter her family's future, she found the blanket, unrecognizable to her, while going through her husband's clothes in an ICU room. I knew instantly somebody had put that over him just to keep him warm. And I'm like, I want to know who this person is. So she posted a photo of the blanket on Facebook. And the next morning... I was getting up for work and I never get on Facebook that early. Um, was up really early thinking about it. And I saw the helmet, but I saw the blanket. And I was like, I can at least connect and see how he is. Did you expect to actually find the person? I didn't. I thought... We'll try it and see what happens. So when she actually responded and we got in contact, it was just, it was amazing. Susan's actions, like what impact do you think that she had? Just oh being my goodness. Huge. Just to even feel that somebody cares about you. I know that he felt that even though he wasn't really aware necessarily of his surroundings. I know that he felt that love. For KKTV 11 News, I'm Melissa Henry. And this is the suspect police say is connected to that crash. It's Brent Gilmer. Investigators say he was driving the truck at the time and left the scene. They have still not found him tonight. I know a lot of people are trying to cut costs where they can. Things are expensive. And one way that you can do that is through your electric bill. Colorado Springs.